Hello everyone, welcome to RN Tutorials on Mechanics of Leads. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, another example problem on YouTube Manometer. So one more example here uh, we are going to discuss. So first we go through the problem, how it may be given. So this is an example. Uh, how it is given means uh, a figure is given with the help of the figure. Here we need to find out the reading of the manometer, final reading of the manometer according to the uh, filling and not filling of the uh, vessel connected to the YouTube manometer. So how the figure is given means here. So uh, this is the figure given. So for this figure with the given data on the figure itself, we need to initially find the height of the water which is uh, in the uh, right limb of the YouTube manometer we need to find and after that here this figure shows initially the vessel is not filled with water so again the second case is when the vessel is completely filled with water in this in that condition also we need to find out what is the manometer reading so here initially the manometer reading is 20 centimeter in that case we need to find out the h1 when we uh, fill the vessel with water automatically the drop in the mercury level uh, takes place in the right limb of the YouTube manometer. So whatever the level is maintained below this level, uh, the mercury takes place when the vessel is filled with water. That's the second case. So initially in this problem, we try to find the H1 value for finding the manometer reading. Finally, when the vessel is completely filled with water. Okay. So initially it is provided with empty vessel. So with the help of that, we try to find H1. So for that I would like to write a given data like uh, the right limb of the manometer is consisting of the water which is the liquid here it is the water so for water we have to know what is the density of water to find out the pressure in the right limb so the density of water is constant uh, which I am taking as suffix 1 as, as a liquid 1 uh, density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube which is the constant value as a property. And similarly, we need to know the density of the mercury also. The density of the mercury can be determined from specific gravity of the mercury. And we know the specific gravity of the mercury as 13.6. Here I am considering S2 because the mercury is the second liquid as water is the first liquid. And from this specific gravity, again we can find out the density of mercury rho 2 is equal to in the form of specific gravity into density of the water so specific gravity is given like 13.6 into 1000 so when you multiply with the density of water to the specific gravity then we get the density of mercury which is in the form of 13600 kg per meter cube so this is the density so next i would like to mention the height of the liquid levels in the youtube manometer so initially i would like to write the height of the liquid one which is the water so height of the liquid that is the water in the right limb is equal to h1 which we need to find out we don't we don't know the value and similarly height of the mercury in the right limb from the datum aa same datum so that is we can assume it as h2 because it is second liquid which is the mercury uh, that is equal to we can write it as 0.2 meters why because it is 20 centimeters 20 centimeters means it is equal to 0.2 meters when you take 20 by 100 automatically we get the value as 0.2 meter and next we go for finding the h1 value by writing the equilibrium condition of the pressure forces acting in the two limbs okay when the constant level is obtained as we know uh, the equilibrium condition takes place so based upon that we can say that whatever the pressure acting in the right limb can be equal to the pressure acting in the left limb so pressure acting in the right limb can be written as rho 1 g h1 Okay, the pressure according to the height is taking place in the right limb that is rho 1 g into h1 which is from the hydrostatic law only and that is equal to the pressure acting in the left limb that we can write as rho 2 g h2. Okay, substitute all the values except h1 we don't know. So then we can find out the h1 value which is the height of the water in the right limb. So already we know density value as 1000 uh, that is uh, rho 1 density of water into 9.8 which is gravity and into h1 we need to find out as it is write down and next equal to rho 2 is 13600 which is related to mercury into g is as it is 9.8 into h2 is 0.2 meters is given on the figure in the form of 20 centimeters 
so from this relation we can find out the h1 because the unknown element is only one h1 that we can find out with the help of this equation by the pressure equilibrium condition we got so h1 is equal to in the next slide i have repeated the same same step so in this condition when you solve this thing uh, by taking these two terms to the right side or by cancelling the 9.8 and 9.8 and thousands in 13.6 times of the 13600 then we get the h1 value as 2.72 meters okay the value the value should be in meters because the height of the uh, mercury in the right limb we have considered in meters only and the density is also considered in kg per meter cube so automatically we can get the value h1 is equal to 2.72 meters so this is the initial height of the liquid whenever the vessel is empty so what should be the next case here we need to find out the difference of the mercury level when the vessel is completely filled with water then the pressure increases in the right limb then the fall of the liquid takes place in the uh, right limb for the mercury so that we observe now so next case is should be uh, when the vessel is completely filled with water so when the vessel is completely filled with water how the condition takes place means here this vessel is completely filled with water so automatically the fall in the uh, fall of mercury liquid takes place in the right limb according to the higher pressure of the water here then like this and when the uh, mercury falls here automatically the mercury rises here in the left limb okay so like this however how much the amount it is falling equal to the same amount it will be raising in the uh, left limb also so assume the fall of uh, uh, mercury liquid in the right limb with reference to the datum another new datum line zz as y so the fall of the mercury in the right limb we are assuming as y from the new reference line zz okay similarly the raise is also equal to same y only so both will be equal so with reference to this initially we need to find out the y value y is unknown value again so how much the fall of the liquid has been taken place in the right limb that can be equal to the raise of the mercury in the left limb also again by applying the equilibrium condition with respect to the zz datum line we can find out the y also because already h1 we have determined as 2.72 and we can find the y also because only one unknown element which is y here so try to write again uh, the equilibrium condition equation for the pressure forces in the right and left limb so the pressure in the uh, right limb we can write it as rho 1 g into h total height we need to consider from this uh, z to the top uh, point of the vessel here so when you consider the total height from z uh, datum line to the uh, vessel topmost point of the vessel we have to take the sum of 3 h and y so in that case we can write it as h1 plus 3 plus and the remaining value y we can write it as so that will give you the pressure acting in the right limb and again it becomes equal to total pressure acting in the left limb also so again we can write it as in the form of rho gh so that is rho 2 g into h h means we need to consider the total height from the datum line that is new datum line zz here so that can be equal to 20 20 centimeters means 0.2 so h2 uh, initially i'm mentioning as h2 that is equal to 0.2 only so h2 plus uh, we need to consider the two distance above and below for the mercury in the left limb so it becomes y plus y 2y so when you observe the figure for finding the mercury height in the left limb with reference to the datum line we need to take the values of 20 here 1y and here 1y so 2y becomes so h2 plus 2y we can write it as okay so all the known values try to substitute in this equation rho 1 we know 1000 into we can write it as 9.8 into and h1 we got it as 2.72 plus 3 plus y we need to find out here and that is equal to here rho 2 is 13600 into 9.8 into the h2 value is uh, 0 0.2 okay plus 2 into y y is the unknown value in meters we'll be getting the value so again uh, try to compare both left side and right side elements try to cancel the similar quantities and uh, and uh, try to cancel uh, in how many times it goes uh, like uh, i'm showing here so we can cancel a thousand 
uh, we can cancel the 13,600 by 1000 in 13.6 times and similarly we can cancel the similar uh, terms 9.8 and 9.8 and we can write the remaining equation as 2.72 plus 3 plus y this is the remaining uh, values that is equal to again 13.6 into the remaining term is 13.6 into 0.2 plus 2 y so when you take the 13.6 inside automatically we will getting the values 2.72 plus 27.2 y so try to take all y times to one side so i am taking the right side of the 27.2 here here uh, the similar elements we can cancel again and uh, remaining we can add it as 27.2 into y okay this is the 27.2 into y when you take the y to the right side so automatically it becomes negative so 27.2 into y minus y is equal to the remaining term in the left side is 3 so write it as 3 and when you subtract the y from 27.2 into y we will get 26.2 into y that should be equal to 3 and again uh, we need to find out the y value so y is equal to we can write it as 3 by 26.2 so when you subtract the 3 sorry when you divide the 3 with uh, 26.2 we get the value as 0 0.1145 meters so which is the y value how much the fall or rise of the heavy liquid that is mercury has been taken place when the vessel is completely filled with water Okay, with the help of this y, we need to find out the complete manometer reading. So, manometer reading can be equal to, how can we write it as manometer reading can be equal to difference of mercury levels. Difference of mercury levels, so that means this total height from the datum for the mercury we need to find out. Okay, difference of mercury levels means from z to the top surface of the mercury in the life left limb becomes the difference of mercury level here. Okay. So now try to write difference of mercury levels means we can write it as 0.2 plus 2 into y we can write it as again 20 centimeters plus y and y so 0.2 plus 2 y becomes manometer reading as well as uh, difference of mercury level so again we can write it as 0.2 plus 2 into 0 0.1145 meters so when you solve this equation we get the manometer reading as 0 0.4290 meters uh, which is the manometer reading in meters the difference of mercury levels is equal to manometer reading and in centimeters we can write the value as 42.90 centimeters which is the total height of the mercury that is the manometer reading here so this is the way of solving uh, uh, another type of the problem which can be given on the youtube manometer uh, here uh, the term we need to find out is the final reading of the uh, manometer so final reading of the manometer means we need to take the difference of uh, mercury levels in the left and right limb with the help of the datum line so for that this is the procedure we can follow i hope you understand uh, the procedure uh, to find the uh, uh, whatever the manometer reading according to the data given in the problem so i hope you understand and once again thanks for watching my video if you still have any doubts, please feel free to give a comment to my video so that I will try to clarify your doubts. And once again, thank you, thank you all.